I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will analyze oblique asymptote for the given function. The question here is determine the equation of oblique asymptote for the function f of x equals to 5x square minus 13x plus 8 divided by x minus 3. Then state whether the curve approaches the asymptote from above or below. So what we are given here is a function f of x equals to 5x square minus 13x plus 8 divided by x minus 3. Since the degree of numerator is 1 higher, we expect oblique asymptote, right? So it is important to see that degree of numerator is 1 more than degree of denominator. So that is the condition for oblique asymptote, right? So that gives us oblique asymptote. So when we expect an oblique asymptote, we can find its equation by dividing and finding the value or the equation of the line which represents the oblique asymptote. So let's divide. So what we'll do is to, we'll do long division. So we'll divide 5x square, the numerator, minus 13x plus 8 by the denominator x minus 3. So that goes 5x times, so 5x, so 5x square minus 15x, that gives you uh, 2x plus 8, bring down 8. Now, 2 times, right? So, plus 2. That gives us 2x minus 6. And uh, 8 minus this is 14, right? So, once you get this, you can write your function in the form, like using division statement, right? So, let me rewrite the function over this. So, we can write f of x as equal to the quotient 5x plus 2 plus the remainder which is plus 14 divided by x minus 3 x minus right so that actually shows us that the function has an oblique asymptote so let me just sketch we'll just make a rough sketch here equation for the oblique asymptote is 5x plus 2 so let's say so let's say this is let us say this is the oblique asymptote, okay, where this point will be at 2 and the slope is 5 for us. So that becomes the oblique asymptote. So that is the first part. So that is we found the equation of oblique asymptote. So we have oblique asymptote as 5x plus 2, right? Now, let us also see behavior of the function near the oblique asymptote. That is to say, if x is approaching positive infinity, if x is approaching positive large value, large value, then whether the function's graph approaches as true from above or below, that is the key question. So positive large value, if I substitute for x, then I have 5x plus 2 plus 14 over something positive, right? That means this number is positive, right? So let me call this as the difference between the function and the graph. It is positive. That means we are approaching from top. Do you understand? So since the function is greater than the line itself, we are approaching from the top. Similarly, if x is approaching a negative large value, so if I write negative 100, for example, then this quantity becomes negative, correct? So we are taking away something from the line. So in that case, we are approaching from below, right? So it is lower, correct? So we can say that when we are approaching negative infinity, the function is, the graph of the function is below the line, oblique asymptote. And when we are approaching x, towards positive infinity, the function is approaching from above the asymptote, right? So that is how we could actually summarize it. 
So our answer is that oblique asymptote is 5x plus 2 that is the equation y equals to 5x plus 2 and function approaches from above on right side or you could say when uh, on right side now let me write right and from below in left side so when I say left side that means when x is approaching negative infinity right side means x approaching positive infinity okay that is what we're trying to say and that is how we have shown it correct now let us summarize how to solve such questions so we should actually in step one divide and find equation of find equation of oblique asymptote so when you find equation of oblique asymptote then you can write this as function plus let us say oblique asymptote plus something right plus something now this plus something is to be analyzed to figure out whether you are approaching from above or below. Now calculate this value. If this value is positive when x value is large then the function is approaching from above. If this value is negative when x is large then you are approaching from below. So that really makes the difference. In our case when x was large positive value this difference between the asymptote and the function was positive and therefore we were approaching from above but when x value was negative large in that case this was negative and therefore the function value was less than the oblique asymptote and we can say it approaches from below the function so that is how we can figure out the behavior of the curve near the asymptote in this case oblique asymptote for the given function right so we are not analyzing vertical asymptote in this video you can do that on your own vertical asymptote exists at x equals to 3 now when you approach 3 from left side or right side whether you approach negative infinity or positive infinity that you can do as an exercise I hope that helps thank you and all the best